Hi guys, Kevin Lee Jacobs here. For dinner tonight, I'm making brown butter and sage chicken breasts. And I'd better hurry because my tummy is gurgling in anticipation. So let's get started. What we need are some chicken breasts. Since it's only two of us for dinner tonight, I have two breasts here. And these are organic breasts uh, that came from free range chickens. So they're not huge like you know, the typical supermarket breasts. They're a little bit smaller, but they're not too small. And what we have to do is pound them out a little bit so that the thickest end of the chicken uh, is flat enough to match the thinner end of the breast. So put one aside and you wrap it in plastic wrap and then grab a mallet or a rolling pin. I'm using my French rolling pin and go to town and just give it some good wax at the thickest end. See, so you end up with a fairly even breast. This even breast will cook evenly. And then I've already pounded out the other breast. So I'm going to wash my hands and we'll move on to the next step. We have to make a marinade for the chicken. So earlier today, I picked some uh, parsley from my garden and I just roughly minced it. And I also minced up three garlic cloves and put them in a medium sized bowl. And now I'm going to add the zest of one lemon. And boy, do I love the smell of lemon zest. This is one of those microplane zesters. It's one of the greatest inventions of all time. Better than the automobile. And the zest collects on the bottom of the zester. And let's bang it into the bowl. And then add some salt. Oh, a quarter teaspoon or so, and some freshly ground pepper, and some olive oil, about four tablespoons or so. One, two, three, four, and put this aside. Give it a mix with your hand. Then take the chicken breast and coat it in the marinade mixture. Should say coat them in the marinade mixture. And we're going to let these sit, oh, for three to five minutes, that's all. While the chicken is marinating, let me show you the uh, sage that I also picked from my garden. This is variegated leaf sage, and it's really pretty. I grow it in a pot in my little herb garden, and it's about as ornamental as any flower could be. I really love the color. And these leaves are fairly small, so I don't even have to chop them. Saute the breasts. Put a skillet, a good sized skillet, over medium heat. Add a glug of olive oil. Actually, not quite a glug. You just need a tiny amount of olive oil because there's already olive oil in with the chicken. And lay in the breasts. And if you have extra marinade mixture, go ahead and just pack it on top of the breast. And we're not going to move these around. We're just going to let them sit for two to three minutes so that they develop a crust. And then we'll flip them over and let a crust develop on the other side. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 375 degrees, because after these saute, we're going to give them a very short sojourn in the oven. 
This chicken has been cooking for about three minutes, or rather searing for three minutes. So I'm going to flip it over and look at this beautiful spotty brown crust that has developed. So we're going to do the same for the other side. And I should probably explain that <clears throat> when you sear chicken or beef this way, um, it's counterintuitive. A lot of people think that searing means that you are sealing the juices in the meat. But in fact, what you're doing is loosening the fibers or opening the pores. So when you introduce uh, other ingredients, liquids, the chicken or the beef actually absorbs those other flavors. This is the time to make the brown butter sauce, brown butter and sage sauce. So I have four tablespoons of unsalted butter I'm throwing in here and my sage leaves. And you can use as much sage as you like. I'm using a handful. And we just throw these in amongst the breasts. And we're going to let them wilt in the butter. And that butter sauce is going to be super fragrant. Sage has a marvelous smoky taste. My butter is starting to brown. And that happens because butter has both water and milk solids and when you heat it, the water evaporates and the milk solids cook and turn brown. They caramelize and you get this really fantastic flavor. So I hope you can see that it's browning here. So this is the sign that you're ready to pop this into the oven. And for these size breasts, I'm going to let them cook mm, about seven minutes in the oven. And they need to achieve a temperature, an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll be back with the finished chicken. Now, remembering that your pan handle is red hot, uh, so be sure to use a towel or an oven mitt when you retrieve the chicken from the oven. Uh, put the chicken on a board to rest for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, we can make a quick sauce for the chicken. To brighten the sauce, we're going to cut a lemon in half and add the juice. And then we're going to add just a tiny splash of, of white wine. This is Sancerre. It's a fairly dry white wine. And we're going to let this reduce for just a minute or two. While the sauce is reducing, I'm going to make a little arugula salad to go with the chicken. So I have my arugula in a bowl. I'm going to add a little bit, maybe a tablespoon or so of olive oil and give that a toss. Then I'm going to add, take my other half of lemon, add this to the arugula. This is what you call a lightly dressed salad. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt. and a few grinds of black pepper. Mix this together really well. Lemon, I'll tell you. One of the best fragrances in the world. Let's have a look at the chicken. It's been resting for a few minutes. Always let chicken rest so that juices can recede back into the meat. Ooh. Perfectly done and juicy. And let's see, I'll go like this and add some of this incredible sauce. 
brown butter, sage, and garlic, and parsley. And then take some of the arugula greens and arrange them like this. Ah, looks like a restaurant meal. And we need to have a taste test. Oh. I'm not kidding. I've never had better chicken in my life. Uh, the herbs are there, the, the parsley, the sage, the lemon, the garlic, and the chicken is super moist because we first sauteed it and then we popped it into the oven to finish it off. So I hope you'll give this very easy, very fast chicken dinner a try. I think the whole thing took maybe 20 minutes from start to finish. I also hope you'll like this video and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I hope you'll leave a comment below because I love hearing from you. I'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.